So now that we've looked at some of the basics, things about footsies and jumps and dashing, dash blocking, I want to talk a little bit about uh, Striker's normal moves. Uh, Striker is fairly reliant on his normals. His specials are, are good and a big part of his game, but he also has some good normals that I think it's important to take a look at. So now that we kind of know where you want to be standing in MK, what sort of ranges you want to be at, what do you do from these ranges to get your offense going? And that's where his normals come in. Now, I'm going to be talking a little bit about frame data, and I want to thank Dr. Dog for uh, providing frame data for Striker. Thank you, Dr. Dog. And everyone else who's doing part of the uh, Striker frame data, or who's doing the entire character frame data project. So, uh, first off, I feel like Striker's most important normal is standing for. Uh, as you can see, you can just dash in and poke with this. It's really safe. It comes out in 8 frames. Um, and you can cancel it to gunshot to get uh, a mix-up afterwards, which is really, really good. Uh, it gives you this little stagger. It doesn't give you a true safe jump, but if you cancel to gunshot, you do get a good mix-up afterwards. And now, depending on the range that you're at, you have a few options but we're going to look at that a little bit later as part of the combo section. So then, the next most important normal for Striker are his two combo starting chains, uh, back 3-2 and back 1-2. Now, back 3-2 hits low and then medium, or overhead. So, uh, basically, if your opponent is famili isn't familiar with this chain, you're going to be able to uh, pop it with it. And it leads into a few different combo options. You can get a... Uh, 23% really easily with that one. You can do that to get a reset. We'll talk about that a little more in the combo section and what you can actually follow these things up with. But it is a combo starter. It gets you some damage, and it's hard to predict. Now, there's a few things. You want to be a little careful. It is slow. It is 26 frames, although it does have a surprisingly long range. Like, as you can see, if I dash in from, like, here, I can go ahead and still hit with it. And... There is a gap between the two on block. Uh, an opponent with an invulnerable move can uh, pop it between them. So you can get x-rayed. Uh, you do want to be careful if your opponent has x-ray and knows about these things. Uh, and again, like a lot of stuff is going to stuff it, even though it's nice and long range. So you do want to uh, not just dash into it all that often, or your opponent isn't going to respect it. Next up, you have back 1 2 2. Uh, that's his main launch. It gives you a nice high launch. It can be followed with a lot of things. Um, it leads into the basic main combo here. Um, it deals decent damage by itself. It isn't safe. Uh, when you aren't sure it's going to hit, you really want to end it right there and then do something else. Uh, you do not want to go all the way to the launch, or else a good player is going to punish you on block. Uh, the next one I want to take a look at is 114. Now, uh, I don't feel like this is as important as some of his other normals, but it is useful. Um, it is a punish to certain moves. It does get you a knockdown. Um, I feel like in the Ermac fight, it's really important because it gives you a knockdown next to you, which you really need against Ermac. Although, I feel that Striker's better off using resets more often than knockdowns. Uh, some other moves I want to talk about are moves to get an opponent who's off you, who's uh, you know doing chains right next to you, or doing other moves next to you, uh, keeping a lot of pressure on. This is important against guys like uh, Raiden, against Kung Lao, against... Really, anyone who, uh, Liu Kang, anyone who's just going to be uh, standing near you and trying to just lock you down. Now, uh, this doesn't work against uh, Cabal at the moment, although in two weeks it should. So, uh, one, you have down one, which is six frames. Uh, it gives you some frame advantage. You kind of can think about it like a Tekken down jab. It's not the absolute best move in the world, but it is cool. You can dash cancel it to keep a little bit of pressure on. Uh, you can, you know, follow it with your standing four because you're going to be at frame advantage and not a lot of stuff is going to beat that. Um, another option is down two. Uh, it is a great anti-pressure move. Striker has a very fast uppercut at seven frames. Uh, it can punish a lot of things that uh, opponents don't think are punishable by Striker. Uh, it's good. 
negates 12% damage, which isn't anything to laugh at. I mean, that's the same as a throw. Uh, it is a little bad because it is giving them a knockdown kind of far away, and Striker doesn't have a lot of answer to wake up attacks aside from blocking. So, it's good though. I mean, it is a great anti pressure tool against an opponent who you know is going to hit buttons. It's unsafe if blocked though, so. If you aren't absolutely certain, you might be better off using a down one and trying to start an offense that way. Uh, finally, uh, there's Striker Sweep. His sweep's fast too, like his uppercut. It's not as spectacular, 17 frames, but it uh, has good range. Uh, it is fast for a sweep, and you can kind of mix up with your other low, which, by the way, is a gunshot cancelable. So, since I mentioned there's that gap between the two, uh, sometimes you're just going to want to do the first part and go to gunshot and do your mix-ups from there. Uh, but you do want to make your opponent a little bit scared of striker's lows, and this gives him a nice long-range uh, attack that will give them a little bit of something to think about. Finally, uh, there's two universal moves that are very important to striker, and that is jumping kick and jumping punch. Now, jumping kick is really vital to striker because... He's a bit of a zoning character, and he doesn't have a lot of things to do to get space when an opponent is near him and doing pressure. And what's nice is, if you react to your opponent's jump when they're at like this range after having pressured you or after you ended up close to each other, a jumping back kick done early is going to beat almost everything they do. Uh, so that's a really good preemptive anti-air, and it can give you a little bit of breathing room and a little bit of space, so you just want to have the jumping back kick ready. Secondly, uh, Striker has Jumping Punch. Now, Striker doesn't have a lot of options to start his offense aside from standing floor or uh, other things, so you really, to get into his combo mix-ups, you really want to use Jumping Punch. And you're going to be following a lot of gunshot hells with Jumping Punch. So Jumping Punch is good, he gives you frame advantage. Uh, a Jumping Punch, you can go right into either of his combo starters to get a mix-up between high and low. You can go right into a throw and your opponent will well, I didn't slow that because it hit. But in the event your opponent is blocking, your opponent has no choice except to try and peck the throw. Uh, they can't actually um, they can't actually get out of the throw by jumping or anything because you're at frame advantage. Uh, that's also really good because if your opponent gets used to you throwing them like that and tries to tech the throw, they're going to eat the whole combo if you do the combo start. So, you always want to be ready to cross up jumping punches. They're very hard to anti air. Um, also, jumping back punch is another good point of anti air. And it leads to a little bit more damage than uh, standing four, but we'll talk about that in the anti air uh, category later on. So, uh, those are Striker's most important normal. Again, I feel like his most important normal is going to be standing for cancel to gunshot, and the other ones to keep in mind are for getting people off you the uppercut or down one. So, 